What's going on guys? Car Review Guys here. My name is AJ and we are back with the last video on the 2023 Kia Sportage EX all-wheel drive hybrid. We're going to try to keep it short. This is five things I love and five things to improve. If you guys want the full review, go check that out. Uh, link will be below. That one is a bit longer. So without further ado, let's roll. Starting off with the five things to improve. Number one on this list is on the exterior. And that has to do with the plastic, what you wanna call, I guess, cladding or uh, your wheel arches, all of that. I would love to see, because many manufacturers are doing this now, an option to get those paint to match. So that way it's not black plastic. And like, even on the door is not too bad because you have like the chrome and stuff. So it kind of like mixes in. But just around the wheel wells, I mean, just having that option for a couple hundred bucks, that would be pretty nice, I would think. So that's number one on this list. Number two on this list has to do with the interior coloring. And uh, the only reason, I think, because as you can see here, this is all blue. This is blue. I don't know if you can tell. It looks black right now. And then the same thing down here. This is blue. Your armrest is blue. Um, piano black and then you have this almost looks white just because everything else is so dark but it's actually a light gray so with that being said while I love the interior I think we need to have an option for a light color to just have some some black or something standard opposed to the blue because I think there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be a little irritated that they can't get like a light gray interior and have a, another normal color. Number three on this list, this is the EX trim as already mentioned. And if you go up to the SX Prestige, you can get this option, but I feel like this option is kind of basic um, and shouldn't necessarily force you to go up to the highest trim level, considering there's many other brands out there that allow you to get this at a much lower trim level than even this really gorgeous EX. And that has to do right here. There is no memory seating on the EX trim, and that can definitely be irritating if you have people of different heights that are gonna be driving this vehicle, husband, wife, kids, whatever. Um, so I think that should be optional on the EX, not standard, standard on the SX. But the EX, I think that should be like a 250 to like $500 option just so that way you have the convenience and more people may be able to afford that and kia would still be making money obviously because it's an option number four on this list has to do with right here and you will notice on the steering wheel you have your lane keep assist or lane centering and it does really good it's great to have that technology in an ex however it doesn't have adaptive cruise control it's actually the first time I've ever seen a vehicle um, or been in the vehicle that has this, but doesn't have adaptive. But it is on the higher trim level, the SX. And again, there's vehicles that literally aren't even as nice as this interior, which is killer, and we'll get to in a second, that are base models with cloth seats and other manufacturers offer adaptive cruise control um, on literally like the base model. So at least make it optional for the EX. I think that uh, that's something that many of people would like. Number five on this list. So this one's unique. Um, so I've driven plenty of other hybrids and this one, and when I say this is subtle, okay, this is super subtle. I'm really nitpicking um, this, so don't take this too literal. And most people are never gonna catch this, okay? But if you drive a ton of cars, you will notice this, especially if you've driven other hybrids. So, and I think that they could maybe improve it just a little bit because other hybrids is a little more stealthy uh, with this. And that is the regen braking on this vehicle. So when you are using your cruise control only at a steady speed, hence cruise control, uh, you will notice that the, it's almost like it does pulsing of the brakes at a steady speed and you can feel it slightly. Your speed stays the same, it'll stay there, but you can feel it just ever so slightly pulsing. And 
seemed a little strange. I've never felt that in any other vehicle. Um, it's still smooth, still quiet, a great powertrain on this vehicle. So don't take that like as a crazy thing. But if they just figure out how to just make it a little bit more smooth, and when I say little, I mean a little bit. Um, and I think that'll be even better. Um, but just me, again, we drive these cars all the time. And again, for the consumer that does that as well, that trades in and out of cars all the time, You'll notice it, not a big deal. It doesn't affect anything, it's still smooth. So let's move on to five things to love. And this actually, uh, I did, I, I do this a lot, but and I say this a lot on many videos, but I actually had to trim down the list. And some I even combined just a little bit um, because it's that good. Like Kia really surprises me, honestly, especially for the price point of this vehicle. So let's, uh, let's get into it. Number one on five things to love has to be the interior design. The interior on this thing looks amazing. I mean, all the way from a panoramic roof to this nice connected looking display. There is a gap, but still it's all connected from the top perspective. Full LED right there full LED in the middle. These screens look amazing. You have digital displays down here for the temperature, but still have actual knobs to control stuff. And then you've got heated seats. You got your heated steering wheel. If you go up a trim level, you can even get cooled seats ventilated. You have a wireless phone charger down in there. Like everything about this, the interior design is great. And Technically, all of the technology on this that I just mentioned is actually number two. They kind of go hand in hand, so I am kind of intertwining them, but it's spacious in here. There's plenty of space, as you can see. It's like, I wanna say like eight inches longer than the previous year models uh, for the Sportage, and just the tech and the interior design, I mean, it's it looks great. Number three on this list has to be the transmission slash hybrid. The way they work together with the motor is seamless almost. Like I've driven some other manufacturers vehicles and you can kind of like tell. I mean, honestly, you can tell slightly even on my Acura NSX, like when the motor's kicking on versus like the EV, this thing like is so buttery smooth when it like, flips back and forth. I found that really impressive and I really like it because in a normal gas motor, if you have the on and off, like you can tell when the motor kicks off, right? And this thing, it's just smooth. They, they do a really, really good job, honestly. Like you'd have to have the radio off and like just, I don't know, just crazy ears to be able to like tell. Like it's, it's pretty smooth. So had to make the list. Number four on this list is the price point and the gas mileage kind of combining these two you're getting 38 city and 38 highway and again this vehicle is all wheel drive keep that in mind so many people are like that's not that good it's a hybrid it's all wheel drive it's all wheel drive remember that like and it's an suv okay so that's good and the price point on the ex is coming in at around thirty-three thousand. And then the SX, if you want everything, you're coming in at around the 37-ish mark. That's good. That's a good price point. Plenty of features. Number five on the list is the fact that it is all-wheel drive. Absolutely love the fact that we've got all-wheel drive in this vehicle. 
completely transforms the way this thing drives because you can just hit it and get it and go off the line. If you have bad weather, maybe you wanna go snowboarding, whatever, it's universal. You can use this vehicle for everything that you want to and love that it's all wheel drive. So yeah, just like that, we are going to wrap up today's video. Again, if you want the in-depth, the full review, video link will be down below. But uh, just like that, this video is over. Please like, please subscribe, and as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.